Hello, Windless Void, I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, and today we're going to delve into the dark underbelly of the crime world and talk about Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin. The Kingpin is not your typical comic book villain. Although not inherently a superhuman, we often see Fisk manhandling heroes like they're nothing but wet trash. In a world overrun with powers, how does the Kingpin remain the Kingpin? Wilson Fisk always believes that physical strength is a major factor in building power in the underworld. He committed his first murder at the age of 12 and trained to build up his strength as much as he could since childhood. Early on, he became fascinated with the art of sumo wrestling and as well as the academic field of political science. His immense strength allows him to overpower his opponents with ease and his skills in manipulation can make him untouchable. The Kingpin's physiology is also pretty unique and I'm sure Deadpool would say something like, Fisk, he looks like the child of Mr. Clean and the state of Marshmallow Man. But in fact, his body has an incredibly low percentage of fat and is comprised of compact muscle fibers. He possesses an incredible resilience to pain and injury, allowing him to withstand brutal attacks and continue fighting. He's classified as having peak human strength. This easily puts him on equal footing with the likes of the Punisher, Daredevil, and many other street-level heroes. This, coupled with his strategic and manipulative mind, though, puts him into clashes with characters many times his physical strength. Now, the Kingpin has an exceptional intellect and strategic mind. He's a master tactician and manipulator, always several steps ahead of his enemies. By running multiple organizations, both legal and illegal, controlling world affairs in the over and underworld, as well as playing politics at a god-tier level, this shows just how capable the dangerously focused mind of the Kingpin is. His ability to analyze situations and exploit weaknesses makes him a formidable opponent, even for the most skilled and overpowered heroes. You took everything! I'm gonna kill you! Take your shot. The Kingpin has a fascinating psychology. He's not just a ruthless criminal mastermind, but a man driven by a desire for power and control. His motivations stem from a deep-rooted need to establish dominance and influence others. The Kingpin's psychology is more than likely shaped by his childhood. He's been committing crimes well before he was even a teenager. He developed a deep-seated need to always be the strongest one in the room, if not, then the smartest, and at the very least, the most connected. His life and aspirations have molded him into the ruthless and calculated individual he is today. Wesley, active. His desire for power and control drives him to manipulate and exploit others, but it also leaves him vulnerable to his own insecurities and fears. Despite his outward appearance of strength, he is haunted by his past and the constant threat of losing his power. But amidst the complexity of his character, the Kingpin remains a formidable force in the criminal underworld. He's a master strategist and a relentless adversary. His ability to adapt and overcome challenges makes him a true villain to be feared. The Kingpin's story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Despite his troubled past and inner demons, he has risen to become one of the most powerful and influential figures in the Marvel Universe. His journey reminds us that even villains can have complex motivations and struggles. The Kingpin is also a reminder of the dangerous ones that float under the radar, the manipulators and puppet masters operating from back alleys and boardrooms. On the surface, the Kingpin can seem pretty uninteresting due to not having any obvious superpowers, but his lack of super abilities is what makes him a threat as he is often underestimated, and those that underestimate the Kingpin today probably won't be breathing tomorrow. The Kingpin is a constant reminder that not everything is as it seems, and there's always someone who can see all the angles and is probably playing them. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the mind and physiology of Wilson Fisk the Kingpin. If you enjoyed this breakdown, then check out this video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more overthinking of your favorite characters. Once again, I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.